guys, Heather here from Tie Dyed Iguana, and today we are joined by our friend Wilson, the legless lizard. Now Wilson, he's pretty old. I'd say he's about maybe 14, 15 years old, uh, and uh, he's been with us for quite a while. But we still get this all the time when people walk past his cage and see that he's called a legless lizard. They're like, well. Isn't a legless lizard just a snake? Well, today we're going to actually uh, tell you guys how a legless lizard is different from a snake to uh, kind of show you guys that, yes, there are big differences between the two. Uh, a snake isn't just a lizard without legs. Uh, there's a lot more to it. So for the first difference between these guys and snakes, we're going to have to get an up-close look at his head. Now, you see that little hole there? kind of behind his jaw, one on that side, and oh my goodness, one on that side right there where my thumb is. Those are actually his ears. Uh, snakes, if you ever take a good look at them, they have no external ears at all. They have a very basic sort of hearing on the inside. Uh, yeah, they just have the internal part of the ear, whereas these guys actually have ear holes on the outside. <laughs> So that is one major difference. Another thing you'll notice about these guys is that their eyes blink. They have do have eyelids. Oh, <laughs> unlike uh, your snakes. Snakes do not have eyelids at all, therefore they cannot blink. And uh, yeah, that is another big difference. So if it blinks, it's a lizard. If not, it's a snake. <laughs> Some species of lizards, though, do have uh, have no eyelids, unlike this guy. But the major difference between uh, legless lizards, most legless lizards and snakes is they, uh, they have those eyelids. Now for this next one we got to kind of look at their scales. Now a legless lizard will have the same type of scales on its back as it does on its belly. It feels the same all the way around. The scales have the same shape and everything. The scales on the back have the exact same uh, uh, size and shape is the ones on the belly. There's no difference. But on a snake, they have their, uh, they have a big difference between their belly scales and their back scales. The, uh, belly scales, they're a lot more horizontal, they're a lot longer, and they form basically scutes that help them, uh, move along. Whereas these guys, they definitely don't have that. They have the same type of scales all over. And then last but not least, a snake's jaws are extremely flexible and they can open their mouths really, really wide to swallow their prey. Whereas these guys are just like other lizards and their jaws can only open so much. Their jaws are just like normal lizard jaws. I mean, they can open pretty far, but not nearly to the same extent as a, a snake's can. So they can't uh, swallow like prey that's very, very large. They need to eat prey that's smaller, so. Yeah, that's another difference between them. Say, they're basically lizards, they just have no legs. Like, they have all the features that a normal lizard would have. Um, I'd say they're more similar to a skink. Ooh, his tail's getting friendly. Anyway, <laughs> they have more, uh, there are more similarities to, like, skinks and stuff. All right, so now you guys should have a pretty good idea of how to tell a legless lizard apart from a snake. They have those ears that you can see, they have those blinking eyes, um, and they also have the same type of scales all over their body. There's no difference between belly or back scales. And of course, their jaws can't do the super stretch like a snake's can. Oh, he's doing the crocodile roll. <laughs> yeah, they can do that too. And he likes to do that. So <laughs> that means he's a little annoyed with me, so we're going to go ahead and put him back. But yeah, thanks for watching everybody, and we'll see you next time. Oh. <laughs> you gonna do another belly roll? Nope. <laughs>